Picture this. It was a time when neon hues and hair that defied gravity were the pinnacle of cool. A TV screen flickered, casting a warm glow across the room as laughter echoed through the air. The year was 1987, and a little gem of a show called Full House burst onto the scene, capturing hearts and etching itself into the collective memory of a generation. From the very first chord of its catchy theme song, you were transported to the heart of San Francisco, a city as iconic as the Golden Gate Bridge itself. As the Tanner family unfolded their daily lives, you found yourself becoming an honorary member of their quirky, lovable clan. Each character brought a distinct flavor to the mix, from Danny's endearing neuroticism to Uncle Jess's cool with a heart of gold persona. And those three adorable munchkins, DJ, Stephanie, and Michelle, added a generous dollop of cuteness that no one could resist. Do you remember that episode where Joey and his trusty woodchuck puppet gave a hysterically unforgettable performance? Or the time when Uncle Jesse attempted to tame his rebellious nature? and embrace fatherhood with hair-raising results. And let's not forget the ever-wise Danny Tanner imparting life lessons that you secretly wished your own parents would drop in casual conversation. But here's the twist. Beneath the laughter and heartwarming moments, Full House harbored a treasure trove of captivating trivia. Did you know that John Stamos initially auditioned for the role of Danny Tanner before becoming the iconic Uncle Jesse? Or that the famous Tanner residence you grew so fond of is actually located in a quiet neighborhood in San Francisco? So, as you reflect on those late night binges or cozy afternoon marathons that brought Full House into your world, remember that there's always more than meets the eye to this beloved show. Now, let's dive into some intriguing tidbits that will make you see Full House in a whole new light. And there you have it, a trip down memory lane and a sneak peek into the captivating world of Full House, all set to unfold before you. So, buckle up, because we're about to unravel the hidden gems and fascinating tales that have been waiting for you. Get ready to journey through the annals of television history, where the Tanner family resides. Timmy Gibbler's ever-changing siblings, a puzzle in Full House's storyline in the inaugural episode of the beloved 1987 TV series, Full House, DJ Tanner casually mentions her friend Kimmy Gibbler having three sisters. However, as the show unfolds across seasons, an intriguing inconsistency emerges. Kimmy later introduces herself as having a lone older brother named Garth. This enigmatic shift becomes even more puzzling on the spin-off series, Fuller House, where Kimmy yet again redefines her family structure, this time acquiring a younger brother named Jimmy. This narrative oddity raises eyebrows among devoted fans, causing them to question the continuity of Kim's family composition. Was it an oversight on the writer's part, or a calculated diversion to maintain intrigue? The discrepancy invites speculation and provides fodder for debate within the Full House community. The evolution of Kim's siblings is emblematic of the show's evolution itself, as it navigated through heartwarming moments, humorous escapades, and touching life lessons. While this peculiar inconsistency may remain a quirky footnote in the show's history, it undoubtedly adds an air of mystery to the world of Full House. In the charming 1987 TV series Full House, one intriguing detail that often goes unnoticed is the nuanced approach taken by Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, who portrayed the youngest Tanner sibling, Michelle. The talented twins ingeniously divided their roles. Mary-Kate tackled the comedic moments, injecting her pint-sized character with adorable hilarity, while Ashley skillfully undertook the serious aspects, bringing depth and gravitas to Michelle's persona. This dynamic allowed the character to seamlessly transition between light-hearted and poignant scenes, contributing to the show's heartwarming appeal. Furthermore, a notable Easter egg surfaced in the show's narrative, when John Stamos, portraying the suave Jesse Katsopolis, humorously quipped, Give me a bottle, some gloves, and call me Blackie. This witty reference harkened back to Stamos' prior role as Blackie Parrish on the soap opera General Hospital, showcasing a playful nod to his acting history while tickling the audience's nostalgic sensibilities. In the episode titled Stephanie Plays the Field, an unexpected behind-the-scenes revelation sheds light on a peculiar moment involving Michelle. As Michelle spins around in the attic to ostensibly grant her older counterparts, Jesse and Becky, some privacy, a faint but discernible voice utters the words, but you are alone, silly. This puzzling incident finds its origin in the necessity of real-time coaching for the young actor. During filming, a discreet presence behind the cameras fed Michelle her lines, ensuring a seamless performance. 
Full House undoubtedly weaves together layers of entertainment, nostalgia, and unforeseen production insights, making it a beloved piece of television history that continues to captivate audiences, even decades later. Uncle Jess's unseen connections, Full House's enigmatic character backstory in the beloved 1987 TV series Full House, the charismatic character Uncle Jesse, portrayed by John Stamos, struck a resounding chord with audiences. Beyond his rock and roll persona and iconic hair, a lesser known connection adds depth to the enigmatic character. While Jesse Katsopolis had a fervent devotion to Elvis Presley, a fascinating link emerges between the king of rock and roll and Uncle Jess's backstory. Elvis, whose life remains shrouded in legend, endured a personal tragedy with the stillborn birth of his twin brother, Jesse Garin Presley. This poignant episode in Elvis' life mirrors the fictional narrative of Uncle Jesse, a character who, despite his vibrant presence, carries an unseen sorrow and a deep-rooted connection to the Presley legacy. Throughout the show's run, the Tanner's cozy San Francisco home buzzed with activity, yet significant aspects of characters' lives often remained hidden. Notably, the vibrant friend Kimmy Gibbler and lovable boyfriend Steve Hale, both integral to the Tanner household, existed in relative isolation. While numerous familial mentions peppered their dialogue, a singular curiosity emerged, the conspicuous absence of Kimmy and Steve's families. However, this narrative gap found resolution in the subsequent spin-off, Fuller House, which provided a glimpse into Kimmy's world. Interestingly, Kimmy's brother, originally referred to as Garth, underwent a transformation, becoming Jimmy. The evolution of his character serves as a testament to the dynamic storytelling that bridges the gap between the two series. As audiences reveled in the comical chaos and heartwarming moments of Full House, Subtle intricacies like these added layers to the characters' lives. The enigmatic backstory of Uncle Jesse, interwoven with the poignant tale of Elvis Presley's twin, and the curiously veiled families of Kimmy and Steve, underscored the show's enduring appeal. In the realm of TV nostalgia, Full House continues to capture hearts, and these hidden connections remind us that beneath the laughter and camaraderie lies a tapestry of untold stories, waiting to be discovered. Olsen Twins contract negotiation unveils disparity on the set of Full House in the annals of television history. Few shows have captured the hearts of viewers like the 1987 classic, Full House. Amid the laughter and life lessons, a behind-the-scenes saga unfolded, revealing the divergent trajectories of its young stars. While the Tanner family navigated their on-screen dilemmas, the Olsen twins, Mary-Kate and Ashley, embarked on a remarkable journey that spotlighted the dynamics of fame, power, and contract negotiations in the entertainment industry. At the tender age of six, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen stepped into the shoes of Michelle Tanner, the youngest member of the Tanner clan. As the show progressed, the twins' physical differences grew more pronounced, prompting deliberations on whether to select one twin over the other for the role. A choice seemed imminent, with Mary-Kate Olsen emerging as the favored candidate. Yet, the duo's soaring fan base, coupled with the resolute stance of co-star John Stamos, who portrayed Uncle Jesse, led to an unconventional decision. Both twins would continue to portray Michelle. In 1990, the television landscape shifted once again as the Olsons renegotiated their contract, catapulting their financial compensation into a league of its own. The magnitude of the gap between their remuneration and that of their fellow cast members underscored the profound inequities often embedded in the industry. This renegotiation not only secured their presence on the show, but also granted them unparalleled liberty to pursue lucrative endorsements and media opportunities outside the series. The twins had effectively transcended their roles, becoming not just actors, but also astute entrepreneurs harnessing their popularity for unparalleled success. However, beneath the glittering allure of their newfound wealth lay the intricate dynamics of friendship and camaraderie among the cast. A distinct facet of the series was the character Joey Gladstone's affinity for Detroit sports teams. This fascination mirrored that of the actor who portrayed him, Dave Collier, a Detroit native and fervent supporter of the city's sports franchises. In a telling interview before the 2012 World Series, Collier revealed a personal tidbit. Joey would root for the Giants, while Dave fervently championed the Tigers. This subtle nod to the actor's origins served as a testament to the seamless interplay between reality 
and fiction, making Joey's fandom a cherished facet of the character's identity. In the tapestry of Full House, the Olsen twins' ascent to financial and professional autonomy, underscored by their unprecedented contract renegotiation, stands as a riveting chapter. Their journey resonates beyond the confines of the screen, shedding light on the multifaceted dimensions of Hollywood stardom and the intricate tapestry of relationships that defined an era. As we bid adieu, let's stroll down memory lane to a place where laughter echoed through every corner of the Tanner household. Full House, the timeless TV series that warmed our hearts and painted smiles on our faces, allowed us to forge a connection that transcended mere screens. From Dana's meticulous parenting to Uncle Jess's rock and roll charm, and the endless shenanigans of the lovable Tanner trio, this show etched itself into the fabric of our lives. As you take a moment to reflect on those cherished episodes and heartwarming moments, remember that Full House wasn't just a show, it was a journey. It was the after-school delight that brought families together, the source of countless inside jokes with friends, and a comforting companion during both joyful and challenging times. Perhaps you found a bit of yourself in DJ's responsible nature, or reveled in Michelle's adorable antics. Maybe Uncle Joey's impressions still echo in your mind, or you found a role model in Uncle Jess's blend of cool and caring. Whatever it was that drew you into this world, we invite you to share your favorite memories, anecdotes, and musings about Full House. Let your thoughts become a part of the tapestry of nostalgia that we all share. So, whether you're reminiscing about Dana's iconic clean-up-your-act speeches or laughing at the misadventures of Kimmy Gibbler, remember that the magic of Full House lives on, connecting us across time and space. Thank you for joining us in this journey down memory lane. Your time and fondness for the Tanner clan are truly appreciated. And there you have it, a little trip back in time to a place that will forever remain in our hearts. Until next time, keep those memories alive and the laughter ringing. Stay full of love and life, just like that unforgettable Full House family. Keep sharing, keep smiling, and keep the spirit of Full House alive. Stay tuned for more captivating conversations and reflections on the things that make us smile.